Hey, what's up everyone? James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining me. And today we got something of a catch and cook video. Not an immediate catch and cook. A couple weeks ago, I did shoot a jackrabbit and skinned it right there. And I took the meat home, put it in the freezer, but now we're out camping in the beautiful New Mexico mountains and I brought the meat along with us. So you've seen us butcher and cook rabbits a couple of times before, but they tend to be for like a knife review. So this is gonna be the first dedicated catch and cook video for this jackrabbit. And to be honest, it's the first time I ever eat a jackrabbit. So we'll find out together how that tastes. So today we're gonna be making a jackrabbit stew. I hope you're hungry. Let's get started. So obviously the main star of the stew will be the jackrabbit meat. Now he was a little guy, he was something of a juvenile jackrabbit. I'm hoping that's gonna keep him from being as gamey and stringy as I hear jackrabbits being. And because he was a little guy, we're gonna supplement the stew with other ingredients. So we have some potatoes for starch, some celery, onion, garlic, some mushrooms, jalapeno, Cajun style sausage, chicken bouillon, and of course some blackening. And then salt, pepper, and cayenne to taste as well. So we're gonna start boiling the rabbit just to start softening them up. And while that happens, we're gonna start chopping up the veggies. So we wanna start boiling it for a good amount of time so it can start softening softening up and a little bit of chicken bouillon just to kind of start getting the flavors into the meat Throwing in the potatoes first because they're the ones who take the longest to cook. And we're just keeping this stew extremely simple, extremely simple. Just throw everything in there and just be patient. Let it stew up for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Big old piece of jackrabbit. We'll have to cut that up into little pieces.
and some time. And a little bit more brought some bouillon, a little bit more bouillon just to, not too much, but just for flavoring. So originally we had the pot up here as you saw earlier but it was taking a while to simmer it was losing a lot of heat from down there to up here so we moved it down here so it's laying right on the coals and as you can tell we got a good little simmer going that's looking really good right now so we've had this guy simmering here for about two hours look at that everything is just so soft and uh yeah, I'm going to be smashing a little bit of the potatoes so the starch thickens it up a bit because I don't want it to be too soupy. But yeah, everything looks great. So let me bring it up here away from the coals. Yeah, that looks great. And yeah, just smush some of the potatoes. Take a look at the rabbit, the little rabbit legs. They look like turkey to me. Oh yeah. So we're gonna let this cool off for just a bit and then it's chow time. Okay, folks, so it is moment of truth. Time to taste our jackrabbit stew. Not only do we have a harvested off the land rabbit, but we also have potatoes, mushrooms, jalapeno, sausage, garlic, onion, celery. So time to take a taste test. I am hungry. So bottoms up. Mm-hmm. That is amazing really good oh man really spicy you know we put a, a good amount of uh, blackening in there and some cayenne as well as some um, uh, the sausage is, is spicy Cajun sausage and uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something but yeah per oh the jalapenos so pretty spicy and now of course everybody wants to see what's up with the jackrabbit over here so let's tear off a piece so 
so tender. If you tasted this and you didn't know, you would not believe that this is jackrabbit. I mean, this is just, just coming off so easily. So let me just cut that out, mix it in with my stew. That's fantastic. We're definitely actively hunting way more jackrabbits from now on. And then of course we have this bread that has some cheese baked onto it. Oh man. Great stuff. This is the best meal I've cooked in a long, long time. Damn, that's amazing. Well, folks, so that's about it for us. We are going to enjoy our lunch and then pack it on up and start making our way back home. So thank you for joining us. I hope this was helpful. Um, first time tasting jackrabbit, really delicious. Of course, whenever you're in doubt of some kind of meat, like you think it's going to be stringy or gamey, let it sit, like let it slowly cook. Let it slowly boil in a stew. Let it simmer, and it's going to be nice and soft. And, of course, add all your favorite veggies, add your favorite seasonings to it, and it's going to come out amazing especially when cooked over a campfire. Of course, it's going to give it that smoky taste. Uh, so we're going to chow down here. Thank you so much for joining us. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and comment down below what is your favorite rabbit recipe so we can try it out next time because we're definitely going to be hunting jackrabbit far more often. And also, please consider joining our Patreon, which helps us get out here and hunt and do things that YouTube normally, you know, looks down upon, frowns upon, you know, hunting and stuff like that. But of course, we believe, you know, it's the natural order of things. And as long as you're respectful to the wildlife, then there's nothing wrong with that. So thank you so much for joining us. Once again, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you guys next week with another one. Now go outside and get your boots dirty. Mm -hmm.